Well, hello everyone, I am Fracture, and this is Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Edition with some mods. And I took a look at everyone's tactics, and this level up, it looks like everyone chose passive abilities of some such. So we won't have to deal with those for the time being. Nothing has changed. Now, we have completed the first half of Red Cliff, and did um, actually delightfully well in my opinion lot of survivors and uh, we're going to continue on to the castle segment of Red Cliff so how many of these guys uh, it looks like we lost what one maybe two of these guys that's uh, not bad at all ah, it's sort of like coming home again but with more undead. Hmm, unless that's him. Sir Perth and three. I, I don't remember. Anyway, we did very well. Let's... Hey, dude. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. Why is the you castle on a meatball nobody inside on your crest? At all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Hmm. Why didn't you mention this before? I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. And we needed warriors. I'm sorry if I... Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over, and I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. Um, yeah, that sounds, um, legit. Uh, you don't seem very concerned about what's happened here. What? Uh, who is this woman, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... My considering nose is stuck the in circumstances... The air. Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Hmm. Why do I get the feeling you're not telling us everything? I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. Oh, you snotty bitch. Impertinent for an elf, you mean. No, I did not mean... Yes, you did. That is to say, I... I... Please, stop this. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. I came for and help. And I believe you. What more do you want from me? But I do not understand what you mean by this evil. Did it create the walking corpses? What is it? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Connor, and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but... I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. Hmm. Tell me about this mage. He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle stuff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Loghain's hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. 
Why does Tegan have to go alone? For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tegan. Tegan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. Do you think this evil could be some kind of demon? I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tegan. Please. Well, I guess we need to decide the what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. <gasps> Thank idiot. the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. Bless you. That's a mistake. I cannot let Isolde return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? That's kind of insane, is what I say. What choice do either of us have? If your business with Eamon is important, you're going to have to go inside to find him. He's right. Without our Eamon, we'll never get the support we need. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. All right, well, here I come to save the day. You're a good woman. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. One fool plan on top of another. Yes, but I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. I'm with you on that one, Stan. All right. How are we doing for heals? Heals are good. I think we're doing a little yes. low. Uh, yeah, we're kind of low on um, mana. Is there a vendor nearby? Um, I don't think one that would sell lyrium. All right, we'll go with what we've got. After all, Morrigan doesn't become completely uh, useless without lyrium. She's still got her staff. Yes. Yeah, well, may as well barge oh, right, right in. Get away from me! Anyone alive out there? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? Hmm. I'll ask the questions here. Are you the mage? Lady Isolde mentioned. You've spoken to her? Then you know what I did. Hmm. She said you poisoned the Arl. I'm not proud of my deed. Poisoning Arl Eamon was what I was hired to do. Lady Isolde had no idea when she took me in to tutor her son, of course. Hmm. Tell me why I shouldn't kill you now. 
I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So... They left me to rot. Why did you poison Arl Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden, that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malifica, a blood mage. You, a blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow. I have to! But why did the Arlesa need a mage to tutor her son? Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Hmm. Perhaps her son is responsible for what happened. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Why would us all be frightened that her son is becoming a mage? Because he would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. So Arl Eamon had no idea of his son's abilities? No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. How much magic did you teach the kid? Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. I think I understand. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say kill the mage. He cannot be trusted. He doesn't need to die, surely. I say this boy could still be of use to us. But if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. Give me a chance, please. Hmm, I think you'll stay where you are for now. Then I will wait. If you change your mind, I will be here. No kidding. Okay, I think... We're okay to proceed. Oh, what a surprise. Going. <laughs> Run him a bone here. Okay. This is getting exhausting. Uh, 
still notice I'm missing a helm. Hmm. Looks like I may have sold one. Does Alistair have a helm? Yes. Canary has a helm. Alright. Don't worry about it then. Huh. Yes. Ah, a note. C sharp. You betcha. All right, this gets interesting. Now, you guys have played EverQuest before, haven't you? All of you? Yeah, well, I'm the rogue. I'm gonna go do some pulling. You stay where you are. <laughs> 